Hello, hello. This is Alicia Connor from Quick and Delish. I'm here to show you what I'm making for dinner. I'm gonna eat as soon as I'm done. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you what I have made so far. So I have, I got a grocery delivery on Friday and I have six bunches of asparagus. I think this is one and a half in this container. This is a measuring cup and I have, um, it's another bunch I just wanted to show you. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge after the video, don't you worry. Uh, <laughs> so I roasted some asparagus. This is just one bunch. This is actually a small bunch. Um, so I'm gonna have some asparagus with my dinner. And so what am I gonna make? I'm gonna make a salad similar to a couple nights ago. So I have some uh, lamb sausage um, or mini meatballs, whatever you wanna call it. And uh what do i have here i'm gonna make a salad um so i'm just gonna get uh get to it um uh let's see so i scored some cool fresh stuff i'm gonna just uh, finish grating this carrot i started grating this carrot with this grater and so this is the other cheese grater i have but it's like starting to crack right here i think it's just because i'm really strong <laughs> oh by the way this is day 25 of the 33 day Self-care is our best defense challenge. Sheltering in place. So I'm struggling a little bit with this grater. I think it's better for like um, soft cheese or like a Monterey Jack or cheddar or something like that. But this is my favorite cheese grater. It's a box grater. And so you could just do it on top of something um, like this or uh, like this. I'm gonna eat that of course the little butt um, so what could uh, happen in just a couple minutes uh, could happen in le in seconds with the right tool all right so that's what I was gonna show you okay so I have I don't know three quarters cup of carrot um, I have half cup of English cucumbers that I diced and I want to show you so I'll get an English cucumber because um, there's pros and cons to vegetables being packaged in plastic, right? So obviously I don't like it when vegetables are practiced in plastic. However, the English cucumber will remain fresh longer because it is packaged essentially airtight in plastic. And usually the English cucumber is uh, not waxed and so you can eat the whole thing. So regular com uh, computer, <laughs> how many times have you said computer instead of cucumber? That's so weird, right? Uh, it's just part of the human condition, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> so we don't eat computers, we eat cucumbers. Okay, so I have here about um, 10 snap peas. I'm just cutting these on the bias or diagonal. I like them how they, I like how they look in the salad. I'm just finishing off these three snap peas in the salad. This is just my dinner. All right, so about a third of a cup of chickpeas that are rinsed from the can. I scored some fresh cilantro, so I don't know, I just maybe a quarter cup fresh cilantro. Uh, what am I going to do next? Okay, that's my salad. Actually, I'm going to looking. I'm going to add four of these lamb sausage pieces or mini meatballs, whatever you want to call them. And then I'm going to do some pepper. Uh -huh. <laughs> this pepper grinder likes to get into arguments with me. I think I got some pepper. We'll see when I taste it. Okay, this is some red wine vinegar. So this is one of my favorites. It's Le Estornel. It's from Spain. It's delicious. It's really bright. It's almost like has like a raspberry brightness to it. A uh, teaspoon of olive oil, extra virgin for salads, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna do, I have this, um, I'm gonna add, um, I have this small jar of pitted Kalamata olives, so I'm sparingly only using six as, 
at six pieces at a time. So six Kalamata olives, um, rationing some of my ingredients. Like I'm down to like a quarter cup of my favorite um, Davina tapenade. I'm gonna have to make a run for Trader Joe. Um, the Davina tapenade is from Whole Foods. So if I wanna get more of that, I have to go to Whole Foods. Okay, so I think I have everything in here for the salad. I did wanna show you, I'll just show after I mix the salad and taste it, uh, what's what. So the salt is uh, also in the, the sausage and in the olives. So I'm not, usually not gonna add any salt, but you know what I'm gonna do? Cause I know it's gonna need it, is a little bit of lemon juice. And so awesome. So I have chickpeas, grated carrots, snap peas, Kalamata olives, and cucumber. We don't eat our computers. Look at how gorgeous that looks. <laughs> okay, what else? So I have a little bit of lamb sausage in there. So I wanted to show you, I roasted these guys. I usually roast, this is like my toaster oven sheet pan. I usually don't just, or, um, I usually don't just roast a small amount of sweet potatoes at a time because I'd rather just like roast a whole a full sheet tray like this size. This is a half sheet tray. Um, and so <laughs> I don't usually do this, but yesterday, um, look at how yummy and caramelized this sweet potato looks. Okay, so I'm gonna have one of those guys and I'm gonna have one of these. Um, this is the smaller um, Japanese sweet potato that's like super sweet inside. Um, I think that's probably good for tonight because I already have, um, I have the chickpeas in there for carbohydrate and then I'm just going to add carbohydrate for energy and fiber. I'm going to add some asparagus and what else? I'm going to, I have to eat these hard boiled eggs that I, um, here I'll just show off. I just hard boiled some eggs and super fun to show how slippery they are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if you could see that. But I have one with tapenade, one that's plain. I just wanted to show you. So I, I just boil, um, I put uh, some salt in some boiling water and then I turn the heat down and then I boil the hard boiled eggs. I carefully place them in boiling and simmering water. I turn the heat down so they're simmering. I place the eggs in there gently with a spoon so they don't crack. Cook them for 10 minutes straight and then I rush them under cold water and then I crack them quickly and then they come out just about this and this is how I like my hard boiled eggs. So I'm going to eat these <clears throat> as well and I don't usually lick my fingers but I don't have a towel near me and I'm attached to a microphone so I'm kind of like a prisoner. <laughs> okay so this is my dinner. Can you see this? Um. I hope you can. So I'm not a big fan of um, making uh, deviled eggs. I know a lot of people love them. I just don't like the extra work involved in recipes that require take like removing and then stuffing something back and then removing carefully. I'm not somebody that's very careful or gentle. I need to just like make something happen. Like my version of hard, um, my version of deviled eggs are like cutting them in half and putting the flavoring on top of them and that's it call it a day <laughs> so whether or not that's like you can make a fancy mustard right like a basil um basil garlic mustard or something like that right roasted garlic mustard dude that would be so good you know i'm excited if i call my audience dude <laughs> okay i'm gonna eat my dinner and uh, it's so cool uh, to have a meal that is so delicious at room temperature. It's a warm day out there today in San Francisco and um, you know it's a little cooler now but if you can make a dinner that is good warm or cool or you just kind of like switch off um, the flavors then that is the way to be. So um, pick up some of your spring vegetables, um, whatever's available in your grocery stores now or farmer's markets if you feel to brave the farmer's markets. Some of my um, patients and clients are going to the farmer's markets and saying they're fine even though um, I have one patient that's definitely a vulnerable population, part of the, the vulnerable population, I think she's 72 years old, but she said this one farmer's market in San Francisco, it's um, 
at the one at the Fort Mason Center is totally safe and they have like a hand washing station and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's up to you, like go find some fresh veggies, whatever you can, you know? And um, I think you can, um, you make, you can live pretty well right now, um, picking the, the right things. <laughs> um, cool. So tonight's inspiration was mostly about eating, making a healthy meal. Um, we'll see if I can eat this whole thing. <laughs> uh, so to be continued, today was uh, day 26 of the 33 days. Self-care is our best defense challenge and we may have two to four more weeks of sheltering in place and then easing into our uh, new normal. Um, I encourage you not to have any expectations on what our our near future will hold um, because we have no idea, right? So let's village up people and be supportive and think about new ways to flavor your foods. I want you to tell me in the comments, like, what are you eating for dinner? And uh, tell me what you're stoked about, right? Um, about cooking at home more. Like one of my uh, friends, he was telling me that he was making pretzels from scratch and he was surprised. This is so cool, right? Are you ready? He was surprised of how easy it is to cook from scratch. So cool, right? But in reality, you we can't cook from scratch all the time. That's why I'm all about cutting out some steps, <laughs> making it easy for you to cook more often at home. Awesome. So that is it for me tonight. This is Alish Connor from Cook and Delish signing out. And don't forget to subscribe and share. That subscribe button is down there and it would help me to continue to create more awesome content to inspire you to cook healthy more often and live the life of your choosing because you are in control and you're number one you look in the mirror and you like look at yourself and you say I love you right I love you because we're gonna we're in like a long-term relationship with ourselves. <laughs> a long term okay that's it for me and to be continued good night or good day.